really quick this is a reply to one of the questions in one of my last videos and it's why do you and your husband sleep separately so a few months ago sometime earlier this year we decided that it would be best to sleep in separate rooms uh, my husband is a light sleeper and he likes to he works as a mechanic he's he works a really hard job in the sun and i have lupus so every once in a while i would like wake up moaning and groaning and he would always attend to me and he would you know help me out if i needed water or whatever um but in doing that that took away from his sleep it took away from his rest he was going to work really tired he would come home and be really cranky and then on the weekends not even on the weekends when it was supposed to be time to rest he would be present he couldn't be present he was so tired and so <clears throat> one day he got covid slept in the other room just to kind of protect the rest of the family and he really liked it it was dark it was quiet there was no one there um moving around going to the bathroom waking up taking pills really late at night whatever and he started to kind of like stay there even after covid we kind of cleaned the sheets He's, you know, continued to stay there and he really, really liked it. The mattress was different than the one we had in the other room. And that's another thing. He likes mattresses that are really soft and plush and I cannot stand it. I need a firm mattress, something that is not going to like sink me in and then I have to like crawl out. So we like, we have a different preference in mattresses. So Again, that's another reason because when we were ready to purchase a mattress in our room, in the, you know, the main uh, primary room, he wanted a soft mattress and I wanted a firm mattress. And the only way that we were going to accomplish that was either to have two twin beds side by side, which is one plush, one firm, or just somebody had to compromise. And I didn't want him to compromise because he works really hard and I didn't really want to compromise because my joints hurt a lot, a lot of the time because of lupus and so we were both at a really um decision you know a really hard decision like what do we do now and he really liked the other room and i thought maybe um it would be a good idea for him to sleep over there and have his soft mattress and dark room and quiet place and i would have my room which has like white sheer curtains and my firm mattress and i could and it was right next to the bathroom so i could get up anytime i needed to go to the bathroom which i do very often at night and so we decided to keep it that way it has worked out really well now he sleeps so well in the other room that we actually um can spend time on the weekends and and it's not like he's not cranky and he's not just like wasting the weekend away trying to rest because he didn't get the rest during the week so it's worked out really well for us we really like it um and now i'm sure the question is well how do you keep a happy marriage and an intimate marriage if you are in separate rooms well that is actually has even brought us even closer um while we were next to each other and kind of cranky with each other and he didn't um he wasn't helping in the house because he was so tired and i wasn't upset at him because he wasn't helping enough and you know, we weren't really working as a team. And since he went over there, now he's rested. Now he helps out so much. Like if I'm cooking, he's right there with me, making sure the dishes are all put away and the groceries are put away. He, you know, he, he's always been helpful and he's very selfless, but because of his tiredness, it made it a little bit more difficult. And since he did that, since he started sleeping on his own and, and resting a little bit more, he's been a lot more helpful. Um, but our intimate life has gotten better it's like that thing that you you know the the saying what is it the um, distance makes the heart grow fonder and so he's in his room i'm in mine and we actually miss each other we you know i used to love putting my feet on him and cuddling him and all that stuff but you know i don't have that now every single time that we sleep together you know that we're in bed but he comes often to the other room and we have like our sleepovers or you know every once in a while he'll say you know what i'm staying over this night and actually i don't like it when he does that because now we're used to being by ourselves you know and it feels really good but he does come over and we do have our time and our moments as husband and wife but then he just picks up and goes back to his room so it is like 
the best of both both worlds we still get to be a married couple but we get to have like our own space my room is set up the way i want it my clothes are where i want it his clothes are not in my room his clothes are in his room his whatever mess he makes is in his room and every once in a while i go in there and kind of like rearrange things and fix it or whatever but like we have our own separate spaces in our house and thankfully we have the space because our house is four bedrooms my girls have one bedroom i'm in my office which is the second bedroom his is the third and mine is the fourth so thankfully we have the space to do that um we really it really has worked well for us i know this is not a conventional way to do things but the best advice that i could give is if you are struggling in any kind of area where you're just annoyed at each other all the time and things are you know you're not helping each other you're not feeling like a team before you start thinking of divorce before you start thinking of like let's just this is not working let's go separate for a little while in your house somebody sleeps over there somebody else sleeps over here and you know see if that helps because it may just be like you know, like when you like rub and rub and rub and rub, eventually you're like, all right, that's really irritating. And uh, it may just need a little tweaking, you know, just freaking stop, stop the, the rubbing, stop the annoyance, stop doing that. And um, since we did that, it's really worked out well for us. I know this is really strange to some people, but and I know that I'm not trying to convince anyone to do that. But before, you know, like people think of divorce so quickly and before you do that like try to find different options try to find not saying that we were headed toward di towards divorce because he didn't help me do the dishes but we were really annoying each other and um now we're not we're happy we hold hands when we go out we enjoy ourselves we enjoy our time together so um that's that's my story if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below and i will answer more in a video bye